Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with the Shave Stop and GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video, and this is a double unboxing video of sorts. A happy coincidence came about, so hey, let's get right to it, and I'll explain to you exactly what happened. And here we have a bottle of Barbicide. Now, uh, you've probably seen me show a vintage razor that I picked up online, Gillette Tech. And uh, really, you want to go ahead and get some Barbicide. If you're, if you're buying used uh, razors, uh, you really want to get this stuff right here. It's a concentrate, two ounces of Barbicide with 32 ounces of cold water and uh, soak your razor for 10 minutes and you're good to go. Now, uh, what's the second part of this? Um, and I, again, I have a, my father's old vintage razor and another one that I acquired. And I have a used razor also coming that I purchased online from another user on one of the forums. So everything's going to get the barbicide treatment, and that way it's completely sanitized and clean, uh, and it really keeps things, uh, you know, for health concerns, uh, keeps everything safe. So let's see what the other part of this is. And I was just going to use a regular container. It's in this bag here. I was just going to use a regular container to mix the barbicide up in. Again, 2 ounces to 32 ounces of water. Um, and I happened to be in a local antique store called Circa. And look what I found in that local antique store. I found a vintage Barbicide jar. How about that? And it was only $24. Now, on Amazon, brand new, they're about uh, $21, $22. Uh, and this is a vintage uh, Barbicide jar from about, oh, I would say uh, 1950s, possibly 1960s. It's in mint shape. And, of course, they put some cotton balls in there just for decoration. Uh, so I achieved a couple of things here. I've got something here. I've got a Barbicide jar, jar here that was made in America, in the United States. For sure, for certain. It says on the bottom, King Research. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Try to get that for you. It says King Research on the bottom. And it is just a little bit worn, but um, it's in very, very good shape. So I bought something that for certain was made in the United States. And um, I also shop locally and patronized. Uh, friends and neighbors in the area. So that's also another bonus. Now, uh, if you have a chance to go to an antique store or uh, uh, some thrift stores, look for these because you may find them at a very, very good price. Look, that thing looks almost brand new. It's near mint and it could be 40, 50, 60 years old. Who knows? Uh, and it's in very, very good shape. So, uh, and again, I'm uh, buying locally and supporting uh, friends and neighbors. Uh, Barbicide I got on Amazon. I'll have links to brand new Barbicide jars on Amazon and also Barbicide uh, mixture concentrate that you can get on Amazon if you want to go that route. But I encourage you, go out to thrift stores and antique shops and keep an eye peeled for these because you might even find it cheaper than $24. You might find it for $5 or $10. Uh, and uh, really, uh, this is, I was really, really happy. So I'm going to be Mixing up uh, Barbicide here and uh, sanitizing um, those used razors, vintage razors that I have. Okay, hey, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, please uh, let me know. Comment below. Uh, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons and other videos like this. And I will see you again real soon.